How did Gohan get so strong at the end of the Cell Saga? Now, we're going to go through his history and pretty much just give some breakdown analysis on how Gohan became so strong. Now, as we go from the Namek Saga up to the beginning of the Android Saga, it's kind of tricky because we don't get that many battles between, you know, Gohan to know where exactly his power is at this point. So we have to kind of let's gauge it from the end of the Namek Saga. Now, Gohan only has the only battles that he has post, you know, after Namek Saga, which is like, you know, after he gets off planet Namek is, you know, he have a brief little battle against Vegeta on Earth. And we also get like the filler arc with him versus Garlic, which that's not too much to go on. But this how powerful was Gohan around that time frame? to kind of gauge everything so judging from what we've seen even in a little bit of filler scenes of like gohan being able to like help goku during the time of him trying to hold back you know frieza in his final form that's one aspect and then him having a battle with vegeta which i kind of did a video on this where i kind of say there was close around the same power where possibly gohan is you know maybe close in power because he does probably get like another kind of boost at this point being able to like try to hold Frieza but Vegeta is most likely stronger and has more battle experience at this point so he does have the advantage now as we go on you know when Goku returns to earth finally after you know Trunks meets them and tell them about the future now they decide to go train for three years now we want to know how strong did gohan get in these three years of training because at this point you know gohan doesn't have any fights in the android saga up to the point he fights cell besides the time we see him sparring with goku in the time chamber and that's all that we see so it's kind of hard to gauge where his power was at this point but we could definitely say that Goku saying that, you know, if they know that the Android is able to, you know, stop the Super Saiyans, they know that everybody who comes to fight the Androids, they have to be stronger than a Super Saiyan. You get what I'm saying? Or as strong as a Super Saiyan, pretty much, in this case. And that means it's possible that even characters like Yamcha was as strong as a Super Saiyan after the time of training. But maybe base level super saiyan because at the time there was no levels higher so I, it's kind of a stretch to say they're they're stronger than the super saiyan but i would definitely say that most of these characters have to be at least as strong as frieza was on nami and which is definitely possible because yamcha tien and shao su when they all trained with king kai they were all strong enough to fight the Ginyu force who was giving Goku the trouble and defeat them with ease on King Kai's planet. Now, that's definitely a lot of power for them to gain from the time of them being weaker than Nappa to being able to, to take out the Guinea force with ease. So it's not far-fetched to say how far in power they are, even though people like to downplay how weak Yamcha is. So now, Gohan being stronger than all of those Z fighters by the time of the end of the Namek Saga, by a long like you know a long shot now i would say goku wanted to train with gohan and definitely the time chamber is where gohan really increases power now mind you people say during the three years goku was holding back on gohan he, of course he couldn't go all out but at the same time goku made sure that gohan trained and fought him even probably him holding back as a super saiyan with piccolo to get them as strong as a you know just a low level super saiyan at this point now mind you it's also a debate of saying who was stronger at the time gohan or piccolo at the time which gohan clearly is stronger than piccolo at this time because gohan has got a boost and he was the one to go fight frieza in his third form after Frieza the third form was pretty much, you know, tearing Piccolo apart and going and help him and also contributed to trying to like take on Frieza in his final form. So 
Gohan definitely has gotten stronger than Piccolo at this point. Now, also with his Zenkai boost and him fighting someone who's stronger than him, which is Goku at this time, that definitely boosts Gohan's power level. His base form power level was definitely increased by a lot. Even though Gohan didn't get to fight during the Android Saga, he's by far probably close. I will say it depends with him and Piccolo to see how strong Piccolo really got during that three years of training because, you know, it definitely helped him to fight someone strong. But Gohan sells, as a Saiyan, would definitely help him get a bigger boost in his training with Goku and Piccolo. And him fighting two of them all at once, you know, just pretty much having a two-on-one it definitely groomed him to be way more stronger. Now, by the time they go and enter the hyperbolic time chamber or the room of spirit in time, whichever name you want to use, but Goku knew that Gohan was strong just from training with him during that three years and knowing how much Gohan's power has increased. And Goku probably can sense better than what Gohan can. So he could probably definitely sense the power within Gohan and know how powerful Gohan was now at this point Goku knowing that okay hey I just got to train and Goku are did didn't do any more training since the time he was healing from the heart virus which he could have probably got stronger after he healed up because he took some damage from Andrew 19 but probably not that much but he already know like hey I can train with Gohan now and Gohan's power is already there now all he has to do is pretty much get Gohan to become a Super Saiyan because at this point it's debatable that Gohan in his base form could have possibly been at this point as strong as Goku in his base form as well and Goku just having an advantage that's becoming Super Saiyan so by Gohan becoming a Super Saiyan which would have definitely gave him a, a boost in power that would have definitely probably already made Gohan stronger than Goku once he turned Super Saiyan at this point and the whole thing with Goku is just pretty much trying to bring out that rage in Gohan so he can learn to become Super Saiyan and transform. And that always has been the recurring theme of Gohan being reserved and holding back. Naturally, pretty much he's holding back. So not only is he suppressing power, but he's naturally just holding back in his power. So this definitely played a factor that Gohan could have possibly been as strong in his base form as Goku around this time frame but Goku knowing this already knew that okay hey as I train with Gohan Gohan will continue to get himself a, a boost in the Zenkai because he's fighting someone who's stronger than him as a Super Saiyan which in turn is maximizing Gohan's power so each time as Goku probably use more power to show like you know more of his power it always just continues to help Gohan but in turn Gohan probably already got stronger than Goku at this point, which is why Goku was probably in the same type, in the same benefiting with training with Gohan because at this point, Goku's probably getting that same boost that Gohan was getting and pretty much becoming stronger. And with them being able to master their key control, which I did a video on that of why like meditating and, and key controls was is one of the most important things because with that you can pretty much boost your power up to higher levels so at this point by them mastering the super saiyan transformation it definitely raised their power levels even to a higher state but gohan's on is already probably on a level that no one could even imagine and goku already knowing this already knowing that gohan is very reserved and holding back he knows that all it takes is for Gohan just to release all of that because Gohan's already keeping up with Goku and Goku already knew Gohan was stronger than him way beforehand and pretty much has just been getting stronger with, by training with Gohan. So Gohan could already been stronger than, you know, than Cell from that point. And that's why Goku's like, okay, we could just take it easy and train on the outside and don't have to like, you know, train up as hard and also just resting to make sure that you get even stronger from resting because that anybody know about working out you have to rest to become stronger too so all this probably played a factor in helping out gohan become stronger and by the time that the cell games begin and cell end up pushing gohan to his limits gohan was able to unleash his full power which had him even go further and unlock the super saiyan 2 transformation but if gohan just even went all out 
with his rage in this regular Super Saiyan, he probably would have been as strong as Cell, and or probably stronger than Cell at that point. But the Super Saiyan 2 transformation just took it to another level because he's now he's just unleashing all of that you know power that was just locked away. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, get in the comments, tell us what you think, and I'm out.